So we're having to take the little animals down past the flood waters. We have a trailer set up on the road that uh, is gonna at least keep them a few feet higher than where they're at now. Hey, Shirley Bird! Show me a smile, baby! <laughs> Welcome to I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. I'm a Survivor Sanctuary takes pride in offering a forever home to animals who've been abused, neglected, abandoned, or in some cases where the owners can no longer provide adequate care. We offer a loving environment, safe from uh <laughs> okay. Sometimes you have to laugh it off, babe. Sometimes you can only laugh. Hey guys, we're trying our best. We try our best. I can't control Mother Nature. But I'll tell you what Bear Grylls told me. You just keep pushing forward. We're just waking up. It's been raining all night. As you can see, this place is flooded. One of my goats, I think, is out there. I'm gonna have to go to the barn and get to it. Oh, look at the pig. You're okay, baby. All right, that's the pig. Come on, baby. I think Oli is terrified. All right, here I come, Oli. I'm coming to get you, Oli. Oh, boy. Woo, get inside that barn. Come on, Oli. <laughs> come on, Oli. I got you. Come on, Oli. All right, we gotta open all the gates. You have to open the gates. At this point, you open gates and let these animals go where they can. If there's nowhere else to go, and as you can see, there's no dry spot. I have to open the gates and allow them to run to the yard. Just get all the animals out of the pasture. Because even our highest points are flooded. Come on, Annie. Let's just get the donkeys out. So what I have to do is open up all the pastures. I'm trying to get all the animals into the yard, at least where there's still green. That's the only spot that's still able to be uh, Don't you be mean. Today's not the day. Stay out of there. Come on, Meg. Come on, baby. You're good there on the porch. Well, that would be number three. <laughs> <laughs> come on baby that's number three come on no nope. let's go to the port stop stop babe Shirley we're trying to save your little wife now go well 
loved her daddy. Loved her daddy a lot. Come on, Annie. Barking like that. Come on, Shirley, let's go to the porch. I'm going right back with you. Take down that fence? Uh, not a bad idea. The donkeys found us. There we are, guys. There we are. Hi, babies. <laughs> Hi, pretty boy. <laughs> you scared? Okay. Annie, you gotta come out, baby. She heard Huck screaming. And she ran back to the barn. I know. Alright, she's the only one who's not come out. She uh the gates are open, the barn is open that comes all the way through. So all she has to do is eventually make her way out. We're gonna have to move our cars next. Come on, Annie. Come here, baby. It's okay. Good girl. It's a good girl. We can put that in with the pig, technically. What? We can put that in with the pig. What pig? Holy? No, we can put this cart in with the pigs if we need to, is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, pig, yeah. Annie, it's not really lunch, baby. Come on, little bird. Sorry, babies. Bye, babies. Oh. Come on. Come up top. Come up top. Don't hide there. Come on. Come on, girls. I let this horse out. He's stuck in the water. It's up to about his knees. So this is okay. This is giving me flashbacks to Hurricane Harvey. Ah. So it's gotten quite a bit deeper here, up to my knees. I'm gonna wade across here and let this horse out. I'll get around her and we'll push it through. Come on, baby, we gotta get you out of here. Come on, sweetie, you stuck? She might be stuck in something. Whoa, it's getting deeper, Joanne. Stay right over there, Joanne. Come here, baby. You okay? Can you walk? She's just maybe terrified. You okay, baby? Can you walk? Well, you know, she can't find Bucky's. That's what it is. 
and she uh, is confused of, as to why she can't see where he went. All right, so all the animals at this point have been secured. Uh, I got Joanne's horse put into her yard where uh, she is actually eating her fern. <laughs> Joanne loves her plants. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh at all of this, but uh, I put that horse in her yard and Joanne's going to walk outside and wish I had let it drown. <laughs> and that's the joke. Joanne will just have to replant her fern. Okay. Now let me talk about what scares me the most about what's happening right now. Let me kind of give you a rundown. Because this is the exact same thing that we saw during Hurricane Harvey. Like I said in my video, lots and lots of rain. All of this rain comes out of the creeks and the bayous and it runs into the river, the San Jacinto River. San Jacinto. Now here's what I've noticed. Since I live on a nice high hill, all of the water that overflows from the creeks over there, it comes washing along through here. It circles the land, circles my property, and it circles back and goes into the river, which is about a mile that direction. That's happened a number of times, folks. It happens, you know, every once in a while. I have seen that growing up my entire life. Now, here's the problem, though. Once that river, like I say, that runs about a mile back behind my parents' house up here, reaches capacity. I better hurry and get inside. Once the river reaches capacity, the lake can no longer hold it, which is Lake Houston. It begins to make all of this water here have nowhere to go. And the scary thing about whenever this water slows down, Right now it's flowing good. Plenty of runoff, plenty of places to drain. But once this water begins to slow down and stop and actually begin to go back that way, that's what happened during Hurricane Harvey. But there's nowhere to go that way, so water begins to climb up into your yard and eventually into your home. That's what we worry about. So as long as I'm standing here, even though it's scary, even though there's animals that are all running free around the pasture, they're in, they're they're encircled. They're inside the little island with us. They're fine. They'll come home when it's time to eat. I promise. What I'm watching though is this flow. What I'm watching is to see how fast this water is running from the over uh, from the inundated creeks and bayous down towards the river. Because if it slows down, that's when we know we have a problem. There's more light. All right, so I'm gonna go inside and check on my parents. Uh, Uncle Raleigh and Joanne are fine. Donkeys are all okay. You know, let me check between you right quick. Oh my God, look at that. Look, look who is the smartest one of all of them. Look who is the smartest one out of the bunch. Who would have known that you'd be the smart one in, every, in all of this? Ringo, <laughs> I'm surprised he don't have a cup of coffee. I'm surprised he's not having a cup of coffee in my chair right now. I'm proud of you, Ringo. All right, so let me just give a little bit of a recap of what's going on this morning so far. Woke up at 5.30 to go to work. I had, knew it had rained all night, but uh, when I walked outside to look around and to go do the morning chores, I saw there was water in the pastures here. That water had not come up as far as this, so this has all happened the last hour. Um, me and Jamie did what people do, or what you're supposed to do. We opened up all the pasture gates. We tried to run all the animals out to where they can still see green. So as of right now, all the animals have been released. Uh, the water, though, is still rising. So we've opened up the doors. To the barn house and we've allowed some of the animals to go inside and hang out yeah I know we've got the duckies 
Everyone is safe, guys. As of now, everyone is safe. As you can see, Ringo is pretty much making himself at home. As are Huck and Shirley. It's like they think that they were <laughs> born for this. Inside here, we have Tim and Petunia who are fine. Uh, I put Maggie, Tank, and puppies inside my bedroom. Move back. Oh, there's a puck by the door. All right, so there, everyone's good inside here. You guys are going to stay there for a little bit. I don't want the dogs to try to scare everybody else out. Uh, yeah, so obviously you can do whatever you can. All right, so what we're about to do now is take our vehicles out of here. I can still get my vehicle as far as the uh, neighborhood across the street, I'm hoping. And that can at least, if something, if it all does go wrong, at least I'm not stuck without a vehicle. When I get back, I'll do a reassessment of all the animals. But for now, they are all dry. And uh, they're fine. We're hoping the rain will eventually slack off. Come, look at this one. He's in the barn, floating. There's a floating bag of cat food, and he's eating it. Oli! Oli! You're not that hungry. Come out of the barn, Oli. Look, there's a floating, there's a floating bag of cat food that's come floating by, and Oli's just like, I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, eat the rest of this. That's nasty. Oh my goodness. Oli, I at least come out of the barn. You want the cat food so bad, I'll put it over here on the ground. Oh my gosh. Leave the ducks alone! I love them. Leave them. Everyone acts like they're so freaking hungry. Oh, nasty. I cannot believe Oli was eating the bag of cat food as it came floating by. That's <laughs> that's not funny. It's Oli though. That's Oli. We ain't seen this much rain since Harvey a couple of years ago. It's crazy. Lost all my hay. Lost my hay. That's no good. The little pasture. I'm glad I was home from work when this all happened. My boss sent me a message this morning and said if I had to stay that she understands she saw the weather at that time it wasn't near it wasn't near this bad but uh I told her thank you and uh as you can see the waters kept rising that's crazy huh like I said this is all rain water if the river does come Everybody has a fighting chance to get out and go. Everybody good? Scared, huh? So scary, huh? So scary. I'm so proud of y'all for being so brave. There's a driveway. jitters I always get the shakes when it rains a lot after you know a hurricane all right so we're having to take the little animals down past the flood waters we have a trailer set up on the road that uh gonna at least keep them a few feet higher than where they're at now. Hey, Shirley Bird! Show me a smile, baby! <laughs> I am so glad Jamie's here, man. I don't know what I would do, what I'd be doing if I did by myself. Turn that pretty girl around so I can see her. Don't drop her. 
It's okay, it's not a big deal. So we've already transferred. That's, oh my goodness. Hi, pretty baby. Shirley's having the time of her life. I've already transported several goats over here. We're having to do it one at a time. So as Jamie can hold on to them. We tried to do two, but it's just too hard holding two at the same time. I know a lot of folks joke about needing an ark, like for Hurricane Harvey and when it floods. Well, in kind of a strange way, in kind of a strange way, we have an ark. This over here would be Lester's ark. Now, no one's gonna judge me, right? No one's gonna judge me, right, babe? I'm gonna lower you down, watch your feet. Ah. So what we're doing, you got her? I got it. What we're doing are bringing our babies over here to our ark. Hey guys. We have a, oh, this is actually my dad's little camp trailer where we're putting all the little extra goats. My dad's got his crew, we got our crew. And for now, oh, look at the babies. For now, this is gonna be their safe haven until uh, these flood waters go down. The only problem is if it, water keeps rising, if the water keeps rising, we're in trouble because the roads are impassable up here and the roads are also impassable down there. So we have to make sure that we, uh, well, this is about as good as, I'm sorry, you're still holding baby girl. I'm still holding her, babe. How do you feel about being Noah's Ark Transport Service? That's what we gotta do. That's our Shirley bird. All right, let's load her up. Hey, like I said, y'all better not judge. <laughs> That's Lester's Ark. So this is what we're kind of scared of. This is the San Jacinto River and it's normally the banks of this thing are about another mile back that way to that far tree line and it has obviously reached its banks water's overflowing onto the uh normal pasture land and so our homes are still fairly dry what's scary is the water from the creeks are joining up with the water from the river and that's what kind of that's what uh, I'm just gonna say it. That is kind of what fucks everything up. So the donkeys have come up to about the last safe and dry place they can find here in the yard. Yard. Hey guys, don't run away. I was just saying hey. So these guys are here. And then we got a couple more over there. So they're all fine. There's still some green. I know, baby. It's so scary, huh? So scary. So if I have to, I can cut fences, and uh, I, I can I can put all these guys onto halters and lead ropes, and I can lead them across to that green spot over here. But uh, like I say, for now, I still have green, dry, right here in my inner yard. And right there across the fence line, there's some green, a small hill. And so if worse comes to worse, we'll just take them right over there. The uh, small animals that have already been transported down to the road and they're in trailers. Annie Bananis is inside the house. All right, well, everything's been secured. It's getting late. It'll be dark here in another hour or so. We're okay for the night. It's been a scary day. But uh, we made it. I guess Hurricane Harvey, as bad as it was, it kind of taught us some things. So, you know, you learn. You live and you learn. You know, my grandpa, the one I talk about in my videos, the one who's buried here, the man that started all of this, I think he'd be real proud of us today. We came together. We did what we had to do. And tomorrow, new day, we'll see what challenges face us and we'll keep on going.